As the extinction of animals and plants accelerate around the globe, tribal nations in Montana are trying to re-establish endangered species. Swift foxes and black-footed ferrets were nearly wiped out by poisoning campaigns and farm plows turning fertile indigenous territory into cropland. The work of Fort Belknap's Anin Nakota College parallels growing calls to rewild places by reviving degraded natural systems. Interns like CJ Work are helping reintroduce small predators in Anin and Nakota lands that sprawl across more than 1,000 square miles. It's a good thing, you know, even bringing in more coyotes and the badgers and all that, it's, it equalizes everything. So I think we forget how you take one thing out and it causes it a lot more damage than what it is. So. With guidance from indigenous elders, tribal college students are vaccinating endangered ferrets to protect them against a deadly plague. Disease periodically wipes out those populations. Half the foxes released so far may have died or fled. And with limited funding, the nation is struggling to restore their land to a wilder state. But elders are speaking positively about the commitment to welcome back indigenous creatures that they acknowledge as relatives. With our homelands, we're trying to restore balance in our circle of life. Reintroducing the buffalo, reintroducing the swift fox, reintroducing the black-footed ferrets. Those are all our relatives. And we help each other in life. And though the nation's approach differs from Western conservationists, the Anin and Nakota are respecting the animals like their ancestors once did. In Bismarck, North Dakota, Vincent Monaz, ICT News.